We're here with Mr. Robert Nisbet, Vice President of International Dart Federation. Can you tell us, tell us a couple of words about your impressions from this competition, from the city of Zadar? Well, I think the, the first thing that I have to say is the, the difference between this tournament and any others is it's the first time that we've had in the same place um, Americans, Chinese and European dart organizations all under the same roof and it's the first time that I've ever heard of a darts tournament in which um, both the small European target and the bigger uh, American target are present at the same time and because that previously was a conflict but we seem to have managed to solve that so it's very important um, and, and obviously I have to say that um, we're very happy to be here in Zadar I think it's a beautiful place and I hope um, I hope everyone will have enough time to visit the city as well as playing darts. What is the next step for the IDF to do? Well, the, the, it's obviously going to be quite slow, but um, we think it's important to get as many new countries as possible. And once we have the United States, the, the NDA organization already has several countries which form part of the, of the NDA. The EDU has uh, a lot of countries, and uh, China is important because it's, it's, a, it's a foot, the first footstep in, in Asia. And we know that darts is quite important in Japan, it's quite important in Indonesia, it's quite important in Thailand, it's quite important in Australia. And we're hoping that um, the, this will plant the seed for other people in darts around the world to say, oh, okay. Um, there's a good tournament, perhaps I should go and visit that. Um, because uh, the thing about a dance tournament, the people don't come to play until it has a certain reputation. And you won't get the reputation until people start to play. So um, the important thing about this year's event is that we've managed to get out of that loop, which means that we can't do anything. Um, because this year we have got people from the USA, we've got people from China, and we've got people from Europe, and, and I think the word will spread, and I'm hoping that um, that will become more important. So we can say IDF has a bright future. I, I hope so. Um, I hope so. I think uh, in general about talking about IDF and, and futures, I think it seems fairly clear that between steel tip darts and soft tip darts, soft tip seems to be growing faster than steel tip and I think people enjoy playing soft tip more than steel tip. Well, let me rephrase that. Uh, re really what the difference is that if you are bad at darts and you're starting it's nicer to play on soft tip than on steel tip because although you don't play very well you can, you can still have quite a lot of fun. Um, and that I think is the future, is to bring people into darts who've never played darts before. And the steel tip people find that difficult to do because it's a bit frustrating to start playing steel tip darts. And so we're hoping that um, there are lots of people who'd love to play darts and we're hoping they're going to start playing soft tip darts. Yeah? That's the way to start. My message is we should be patient. Um, there are several large and well-organized darts organizations in the world um, and they all do more or less the same thing uh, in slightly different ways and um, what I want to try and achieve is that all of these good well-organized darts organizations uh, start cooperating with each other to um, in a small way to, to benefit the sport of darts generally. Um, and that's what we're hoping to try and achieve with the IDF. Thank you very much. Okay.